Uh oh. Here it comes. <laughs> okay, patch 6.55, starting with the MSQ. Let's do it. When one door closes. Ah, Nuccio, one of my clerks was just here with a message for you. The students of Baldician request your presence in Charlian at your earliest convenience. Indebted as I am to our friends, I had hoped that I might too be of service, but it is you alone that they require. No pressing business. Pray and make your way to the Baldesian Annex at once. Ojika awaits your arrival. In the meantime, I shall continue showing Ajdaya the city from notable landmarks to the people's lives. There's still much and more for her to see. For all for now, my friend, I look forward to the day we set forth on another adventure together. Dead game. Only five people doing MSQ. <laughs> oh, did I cap my tomes? Nope. <laughs> no relic for me today. I think we get to meet the Frothgar now. Our first Frothgar encounter in game. So fucking excited. Hey, Ojiko. A warm and hearty welcome to you, Nuccio. I gather you received our message. Please wait here while I fetch Kryl and Graha. Thank you for coming on such short notice. Oh, she's wearing the earring now. Look at that. And forgive us for sending you uh, for you so soon after your trials in the void to say nothing of your grueling battle against the 12. Now then, we aren't actually the ones who require your presence, but Aaronville. He stopped by recently, you see, and asked us to reach out to you on his behalf. I imagine you're as surprised as we are, given that he was supposed to be away on a long expedition. Something must have necessitated a change in his plans. All he would tell me is that there is someone whom he wishes Inuccio to meet. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. He also mentioned that he would be tending to business at the studium. Shall we look for him there? Let's go. I'm excited! I believe the character's name was Look Wamat or Wook Lamat, something like that. I can't remember. The uh, the voice actress told everybody the character's name on Twitter after the JP FanFest. And I imagine we should be running into her real soon. Now then, where's Aaronville? Aaronville! Ooh, voice acting. The boy. Apologies for the wait. I hope I haven't called you away from anything important. I chanced upon some commissioned items at my destination, so I thought I might deliver them. Where did you go, if I may ask? The New World. Tural. Tural. You went to Tural? Then the person who you wish to introduce... Aye, she hails from there. I present to you... Here we go! Arm. But it seems you've lost her. <laughs> Did she wander off? <laughs> <sighs> oh shit! Sorry, sorry. It's just so different here. I can't help but want to explore. Oh! Well, while you were exploring, your candidate came to us. This is her. <gasps> the adventure you crossed the seas to meet. Oh my god. Ooh, you weren't exaggerating. It's plain she's no ordinary woman. Wait, she sounds and looks so good! Claiming to the throne of Tuli Hyuela. Yay! <laughs> wow! That looks way better than the um the gameplay footage that they showed at JP FanFest. Holy smokes. What do you guys think? Holy shit, she looks awesome. Tuli Hyuela. It's Tural's governing nation. The capital bears the same name. I'll get to the point. I want you to come with me to my homeland. Okay. Erm. Um. Given the magnitude of the request, perhaps you should explain why you're making it? <laughs> of course, of course. Soon, an event of great import will be held in Tural. The Rite of Succession. God, I, I love how athletic they look. Like real, like lioness stature. It looks so great. Taking the form of a contest, it will determine who next ascends the throne. As daughter to its present keeper, I will participate. And I have every intention of winning. I was searching for champions to join me when Aaronville told me about you. A mighty warrior who knows no fear, who sweeps aside terrible fiends as if they were reeds. <laughs> flew to the edge of existence and saved our star. Damn, you gassed me up, Aaronville. <laughs> she asked who Eorzea's greatest hero was, and so I told her. Much more elegantly. Oh, he's shy. <laughs> now you know why. 
You'll come to Toral, yes? Wait, let's all just slow down. Wuklamat, was it? You claim to be of the royal family, but is it not the Mamulja who rule in Toral? Tulihyolal is a nation of many peoples. Not only the Mamulja, as some across the sea are they're... quick to assume. Even just like the way they blink and the way their mouths move, it's just like, it looks so good. Like way better than anything else. That said, its present ruler is a Mamulja and one blessed with two heads besides. He's also my father. Not by blood, obviously, but he raised me as his own. And that's what matters. So that is interesting. My apologies if I was indelicate. Hardly. Oh. I know Damn. You about your land <laughs> and nothing about your parentage. <laughs> uh, but in my eagerness, I've gotten ahead of myself. I can't expect you to agree on this spot when we've only just met. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Just know, though, that if it's adventure you seek, you could do far worse than come with me. No, this is only a rumor. Mm hmm. But apparently, the contest will involve the fabled city of gold, gold and the legendary beast, Valley Armando. The city of gold, Soy Jack Point. We were told about that. Tell me that doesn't pique your interest. It indeed does. I'm in. You have my complete attention. Golden City, I've heard about it before. So the tales have reached even these shores. I <laughs> can't help but feel proud. I advise you not to put much store by these rumors. Golden cities are not but a dreamer's fancy. Says the dreamer who was bent on finding one when he was a child. Just because you failed doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Damn. Tuli Yolal and the Golden City. <laughs> Just like in the letter to grandfather. Regardless of what the contest may entail, it'll be no simple thing. If I'm to triumph, I'll need capable and dependable companions. So let's go on a hunt together. There's no better way to get acquainted. I love her already. Oh my gosh. We need someone like her in the Zions for real, bro. <laughs> Everyone's so uptight. And one door closes. VA is killing it. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Suddenly everyone appears. We're gonna go on a hunt, huh? Okay. The game is afoot. Grahatia appears equal parts bewildered and excited. The chance to see not only Tural, but the fabled golden city besides. This is the stuff of grand adventures, my friend. Which is not to say you should hastily accept this invitation, mind. There's still a great deal we do not know. So let us begin to rectify that by first getting acquainted with our visitor in the manner she suggests. You know what? You're right. She kind of does remind me of Karlak. I think that's why I like her so much. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't put that together, but yeah. Same kind of character, it seems. I'm not certain what uh, might be a suitable location for her hunt, however. When I was at the guild earlier, I learned about a petition from researchers on the Isle of Ham. You went there not too long ago and called some unruly fauna, of course. But according to recent reports, other ordinarily docile fauna have grown savage. It's believed that they've been unsettled by some manner of predator. And so the researchers seek assistance with identifying and dispatching it. As part of your hunt, perhaps, you might answer the petition? That sounds good to me. The isle isn't far, and we would also be helping those in need. That works for me. Just so you know, I've honed my skills against some of the fiercest beats in Tyrell. Whatever this creature is, it had better be able to put up a proper fight, or it'll end before we have the chance to get acquainted. And before we can prove ourselves capable and dependable companions. My apologies, but I must see some, uh, to some preparations. Pray, go ahead on the isle. I will join you as soon as possible. I hope she comes back as Picto. Yay! If the rest of you are ready, let us head to the harbor. This being guild ship business, it should be simple enough to secure a vessel. Awesome! Oh, this is so cool seeing this stuff in game finally. I wonder if we're just gonna like walk through the Aetherfawn dungeon. Gotta figure out how to get that backpack. It's a new fashion accessory apparently. All right, here we go. So we have to take the ship? Ugh, and I've barely set foot on dry land. Oh well, I suppose it's for a good cause. A hunt. Come on, let's get going. Cutscenes. No, nah, I'm doing my fucking expert roulette. From here, we must walk. So much ice. It rivals even Yokturar. Ooh, white bear. I wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> Remember, we're here to deal with creatures that have been deemed an unacceptable danger. Do not attack anything else unprovoked. <laughs> she about to just eat the bears. I know, I know. 
So this is the aisle where ether literally bursts forth. Uh huh. Aye, the Isle of Ham. The geysers lie deep inland, however. You really are knowledgeable. Koana told me nothing about this place. Koana? I doubt your brother managed to come out this way. He's like to have toured facilities like Labyrinthos, however. Mm. The great big cavern under the city. It's amazing that they could make a sky down there complete with a sun. This brother of yours, he has been to Charlian. He has. Kona's my second older brother. And until recently, he was a student in this city. I wonder if he's a Hrothgar or a Mamulja. He went on and on about technological amusements. He made me want to come here too one day. And so I did. I think I understood something of how he felt when I set foot in his beloved studium. He went to the studium? Your brother must be quite a scholar. But I wonder, like you, he'd be royalty, yes? With such a personage coming to Charlian to receive an education would <clears throat> surely have caused a stir, yet I recall nothing of the sort. When was she it? He consulted with the head of the studium beforehand. Ah. That his identity might remain secret. And you're just outing him right now. Being Mikote, he had no trouble blending in. Ah. He's adopted like me, you see. One time, though, he almost let it slip to a professor. It was all he could do to parry the barrage of questions. <laughs> I, that's probably, well, I'm assuming that's probably the, the blue haired Mikote that was on the Dawn Trail poster. But who knows? Having no shortage of questions myself, I can imagine. Ask whatever you like. I don't mind. But I maintain hunting together is the best way to get to know someone. The researchers should be up ahead. Let's find them and learn what you can. Is that a new axe model? It kind of looks like the Byako one, but it might be new. The researchers should be just ahead. There. The building to the northeast. So ordinarily harmless creatures have grown savage. Don't know what's got them riled up. Oh, is she going to pull? She's even got stance on. Wait, is she going to AoE? <gasps> she uses cooldowns and oh, man. I like her already. <laughs> a proper tank. Let's go. <laughs> she's awesome. Someone's in trouble. And she's sprinting. What? <laughs> so cool. Oh, thank goodness you've come. I take it you're the one who answered our petition. Wait, aren't you? You are, Anuccio, the adventurer who saved our star. Would that our meeting was under better circumstances. I was conducting a routine inspection of the transporter here when I suddenly found myself surrounded. You'll find more of the same across the chasm. Once docile animals grown strangely aggressive, my colleagues there can tell you more. If you give me a mo just a moment, I can finish checking our equipment. You really are famous. A little bit. And for good reason, as you'll soon see for yourself. Stop gassing me up, man. Oh, also, we can go ultra wide mode if we want. <laughs> Quite an interesting contraption you've got here. Is that our petitioner? Let's go and have a chat. The adventurer come to answer my petition, I assume, I presume. We're most fortunate to have one of uh, your considerable skill here to aid us. A creature of unknown origins has been sighted on the island in recent days, and we believe its presence has affected the local fauna. The animals beyond this gate are the worst affected we've encountered thus far, though uh, we dare not go back. Your task is to quell any threats you find and search for traces of the beast responsible for all this. If you should find anything, anything at all, we'd be most grateful if you would share it with us. Okay. Oh my bald. Holy. Lead the way. I'm here. Go, go, go. Handle this. What the? That's not a tank, LB. Holy. Is that all? What? Let's Come go. On. Let's pick up the creature's trail. Carcass. You find ravaged beast remains torn to shreds by sharp talons. These claw marks. I've seen their like before. Hmm. <laughs> it's starting to feel like a proper hunt. Oh, you find feathers are scattered about the ground. There are signs of a fierce struggle. Feathers. But do they belong to the predator or the prey? So, how do you prefer our prey? Roasted or raw? You presume it's even safe to eat? Ew, poop. The cloying stench of fresh leavings assails your nostrils. Whatever beast left this, uh, left them is likely still close still by. Fresh. Whatever this beast, it cannot be far. Um, they're right behind me, aren't they? Man, get aggro! Do you suppose 
Damn, she even provokes? Let's head back and report what we found. I don't think we found anything with red feathers. This is a nice solo instance so far. Whoa! Powerful wings and razor sharp talons. <laughs> Worthy prey. Oh. Big toucan. Oh my gosh. What is that thing? <laughs> what the? It, it speaks? <laughs> it's just a giant parrot. <laughs> it's little, wait, she's so cute. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't get enough of her. <laughs> you stay with the researchers. The creature, I leave to you. Come, Wotlamat. Right. Um, you pull, you tank. Wait up. Whoa! Wait, this is where we fought Volibear. Just so we're clear. I wasn't startled by the beast earlier. It caught me by surprise, that's all. <laughs> Forgive me, but I failed to see a difference. I'm getting hungry. Let's be done with this so we can eat. Caught me by surprise! Caught me by surprise! <laughs> <sighs> Think you're clever, huh? I'll rip off that beak and roast you on a spit! Let's go! All right. Holy! All right. Talk all you like, Bird. I'm going to have the last laugh. Let's see if she can do mechanics. Wind unbound. Raid ride. <laughs> Pecking flurry. I'm looking out. Okay, she can dodge mechanics. Damn, she even breaks up time to Tomahawk? Goaded! Alright, she can join the team. Wait, stack with me, guys. Sticky! Oh, no. Um. Oh, shit! What the? Pull me! Oh! Thank you. That was too close. Oh. Uh oh. Swoop. Spread out, everyone. I'm spreading. I'm spreading. Whoa. Who paid for that? <coughs> um. Can she do it again? Oh. First. Save your comrades. Oh, shit! Ooh. Get out of there! Run! Thank Quick! You. Wait, last story patch with current Dragoon. I just realized. Browns. Whoa! Oh, the wings! Heaven's War Dungeon! I am so tickled right now. Oh shit, the LB! Do it! Damn! Holy... <laughs> Gra! Awesome! That was sick. And I had barely limbered up. <laughs> it was a terrible foe, but no match for your axe. She was shaken. She was just excited. O only to be expected. That's why warriors got thrill, you know? Thrill of the hunt. You were pretty impressive yourselves. 
I was right to invite you on a hunt. Erm. Um. <laughs> what a curious bird that was. Erm. Um. We have some <laughs> <laughs> Don't grow so big. Or use oh, dirty tricks. B -b 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 behind you. I dirty and despicable. Otherwise, I could have. What is this? Easily. Scooby Doo ass cutscene. It's right behind me, isn't it? <laughs> Leave this to me. Oh shit! Picto! Let's go! Moogle! What the? Awesome! Look at her! Chrono. Oh, cute! I'm terribly, terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. She arrived as I was seeing the researchers to safety. It was all I could do to keep up with her after I explained what happened. She's so smug. So this is what you meant by seeing to preparations? After hearing of the contest, I thought how wonderful it would be to join you. In coming here, I wanted to demonstrate my skill at arms to Wuklamat. Alas, it seems I missed most of the action. It's okay. You did the <gasps> cool finisher. That was amazing. The piece didn't stand a chance. I'm glad to have been of service. May I ask what inspired this change? You will recall the time you descended to the ethereal sea in search of Hydaelyn. Recognizing that my skills were... inadequate, I chose to provide support from afar rather than join you. It was the same when you set forth for Ultima Thule. How it pained me to stay behind again and again. That's what inspired this change. Ever since the final days were averted, I've used every spare moment to hone my craft. Mm. As you all have adapted your methods to suit the circumstances, I started by considering how I might best contribute. And after much deliberation, the paint. I arrived at my answer. <clears throat> Red, yellow, green, and blue paint. And white. Interesting. Cute! <laughs> With the esoteric art passed down by the legendary Archon realm, Pictomancy. Mm. As I recall, you have embraced versatility to effectively complement a certain someone's style. What I do is much the same. Like you, I don't want to be left behind. <laughs> Indeed. I must say, you appear to be especially keen on being involved in the ritual of succession. Is there any particular reason? Yes, there is. This letter from Tuli Yolal. It was addressed to my grandfather Galuf and turned up among the students' archives. The ink was faded, so I couldn't fully make out the sender's name. A uh, Galul someone. Mm-hmm. Jaja. Galul Jaja. <coughs> That's my father, Idan's servant. Ah. What does the letter say? While much of it isn't legible, it appears to be a request to investigate the Golden City. A request to investigate the Golden City? From the Dawn Servant himself? Well, well. Seems it may be more than a rumor after all. Being a member of the royal family, it was my hope that you could confirm the authenticity of this letter. I can say for a fact that my father didn't write this. Given how culturally diverse Tuliyolal is, it was decided some time ago that a common language was needed. But instead of elevating an existing tongue and its speakers above all others, we looked to those widely spoken overseas and created an altogether new one. Mm. The similarities to your common tongue <coughs> also make it quite easy to communicate in these situations, no? I was going to say, if, if Galul... Jajagu or Jagu whatever I already forget the name. That guy was really big. And that's a really small letter. <laughs> I was laughing thinking about him like holding a tiny little like paintbrush or something. 
<laughs> this letter, however, is entirely in Eorzean. If father had written this, he would have been in Turali. And what's more, it bears a wax seal. We don't bother with them. So the letter is fraudulent, then? Oh, I didn't mean to say that. My father's signature is genuine, as far as I can tell, so perhaps he simply dictated it. I see. Oh, thank you for the confirmation. It seems my grandfather indeed had dealings with Tuli Yola. I can't help but be curious as to what exactly he was doing there. Is anybody else, like, whenever they see a Lalafell face now like this, you just can't not think about that hour-long fucking... <laughs> Ted talk we got <laughs> about the Lollafell gins. <laughs> In order to help us decide on a course of action, would you mind if I asked you some questions about your home? By all means. After all, learning about one another was the purpose of this hunt. We can talk while feasting on this fellow. I, for one, am starving. We're eating that. Yup. This is Sam, level 90 culinarian, literally. With the wildlife pacified and the researchers safe, our task is complete. That just leaves the matter of the Calibre meat. For better or for worse, there is really only one place we can take it to here in Charlian, the last stand. Come, let us see what Dickon can cook up for us. Yay! Well now, there's a famished face if I've ever seen one. What can I get you, Nuccio? Oh ho, bird meat from the hunt, you say? Leave it to me. I have just the recipe. It's a new dish I recently learned from some sailors, and for you lot, it's on the house. Have as much as you like, you hear? Yum! That does not look like bird meat. Come, come. Let's enjoy the bounty <coughs> of our first outing together. Mm. I'd heard that Charleyan cuisine was terrible, but this is fantastic. <laughs> Who told you that? That's like a whole ass T-bone steak. Mm. It smells spicy. Don't tell me that's the the death spicy curry we had. Oh no. Oh come now. Since when did you become so soft? It's not like we don't have spicy food in Tural too. Uh oh. Here it comes. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Uh huh. Yeah. So he started offering the same in order to please the growing Harnish population here in Charlian. Ah. <laughs> it's nothing. I can't handle. She's so strong. <laughs> I love her so much. Your boorish manners reflect poorly on the both of us. I wish you would consider your station. <laughs> yeah. I swear, sometimes it feels like you open your mouth only to criticize. Would I be correct in assuming you've known each other for a long time? I thick as thieves since we were little. I beg to differ. She is a long-standing acquaintance. Nothing more. <laughs> I see. I see. All this time you were from Tural. Oh, would that I had known sooner. There's so much I'd like to ask. You and everyone else. I've kept it quiet so as to avoid the endless interrogations. Well, I don't blame you. If he's going to be a miser, I'll be happy to tell you about our homeland instead. Look at all that food. Oh, I'm Since hungry. Ancient times, many peoples have called Tural home. And they've been fighting each other for nearly as long. The fighting finally stopped some 80 years ago, when the reigning Dawn Servant unified the disparate communities and founded a new nation. Mm. And that's how Tuliolal Tuli came to be. Since then, we've enjoyed an era of uninterrupted peace. But my father is getting old, and he wishes to relinquish the throne to a worthy successor. One who can preserve his legacy. Including myself, there are four claimants to the throne. But while we all have the right to participate, one among us cannot be allowed to rule. 
A man who is too ambitious by half. Word of the Garlean Empire's collapse has reached Tural. While most are simply relieved, he sees weakness to exploit and would lead our armies across the seas on a campaign of conquest. Ah. After everything my father has done to give us peace, he would drag us back into war. I can't allow it. No matter what, I must win this contest. I see. I understand your reasons. But this being an event that will dictate the course of your nation's future, is it appropriate for outsiders like us to be involved? Oh, it's more than appropriate. The Don Servant himself expressly encourages it. The ruler of Tural must navigate the intricacies of myriad cultures, and there's no better way to prove oneself qualified to do so than to work with foreign allies. That's why I sought you out. Through our hunt, I've confirmed that you're a warrior of considerable skill, but more importantly, one of good character as well. I have said maybe ten words to you. And so I ask you, will you lend me your strength <clears throat> and help me win the throne of Tulihualal? You don't need to decide right this moment, but I will need you if I'm to triumph over the competition. I'll stay here as long as I can while waiting for your answer. In that case, allow us to prepare a room for you at the Baldessian Annex. We got like half a year to make our minds up, and I think I already know what we're going to say. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Once we finish eating, would you mind if I took the rest of the meat? I guess. <laughs> Whether Wuglamot has the makings of a ruler, I couldn't say, but I do know that she deeply cares for her nation and her people. Whether you choose to help her, though, is for you and you alone to decide. Think on it well. Now then, it's past time I reported our mission's success to the guild ship. I would have done so sooner, except her highness needed to have her royal meal. I shall come by the annex later. Till then. The coming dawn. Aw, shit. Well, I dare say we now have a fair grasp of Wuglamot's situation. Still, you've been afforded time to consider her invitation. Why not use it to learn more about T uh, Tural? Nomenon is bound to have some information on the continent. Certainly wouldn't hurt to be better informed. Quite right. Not only would it help you to make an informed decision, but if you do choose to go, you would be better prepared for what awaits. Come, my friend. Let us be off to the archives. Let's go. Time to read. Yahoo! Pudding way! What's up, pimp? The origins of blue magic can be traced back to the esoteric practices of the Wallachi. A tribe in the distant continent of Tyrol. Yep. The tribe holds nature in the highest, and in seeking to cultivate a spiritual connection with it, they have learned to harness the power of the wildlife around them. In exchange for teaching them the common tongue, I was permitted to live among them and train in their ways. Those days were some of the most grueling I remember, but they were tremendously rewarding. For instance, I had the privilege of visiting Lapis Canyon, the tribe's sacred grounds. It is so named for the cerulean deposit uh, that wells up to the surface, turning the entire canyon a brilliant blue. Under a shaman's watchful eye, I finally managed to master the Wallachie's art and make the animal's powers my own. As no name existed for it in common tongue, I took the liberty of naming it Blue Magic. Oh! The reason I chose this color, as you will have doubtless gleaned, is for the significance it holds to the Wallachie. I cannot think of a name more fitting to honor the people from whom this noble magic was born. Interesting, that's an important book. Lines in the Sand, The Geopolitics of Heidelin. Let us begin by comparing the geographical characteristics of the three great continents and Tyrol. The former stretches from east to west and lies entirely within the northern hemisphere. In contrast, the latter extends to the far reaches of both northern and southern hemispheres, and a difference immediately presents itself in the form of climate variance. Shifts in climate tend to be gentler when moving east to west, but harsher when moving north and south. Owing to this fact, longitudinal migration is far more common in history whether it be by men, animals, or plants. A case in point is the Allegans, who rose to power. Ah, we were thinking Allegans stuff when we saw all that shit, man. I think this all but confirms it. A case in point is the Allegans, who rose to power uh, in Aldenard before advancing east to Ilzebard. Their movement would be mirrored thousands of years later by the Garlians. Meanwhile, although the dis disparate tribes of Tyrol waged war with one another for generations, stymied by the climate, None could make any great headway north or south. Tribes hailing from frozen lands withered beneath the desert sun, while those that thrived in open plains could not pierce dense jungle. Such was uh, the way of it, until the leader of the Mamuljaw succeeded in bringing the continent under one banner. Given the land's divided history and reason thereof, one cannot but be in awe of this feat. Truly, it is a testament to the Autarch's greatness. 
Interesting. Maybe it not might not be Alligans, but I feel it's it would have been strange for them to name drop that without like, you know. The flora of fauna in Tural. Every land has given rise to unique wildlife, and the continent of Tural is no exception. Yet while some of her creatures have come uh, become a familiar sight in Eorzea, many and more exist that are rarely seen this side of the Indigo Deep. This tome introduces a select variety of species as described in the testimonies of sailors and adventurers. Alpaca, uh, accustomed to Tural's craggy mountain ranges, this four-legged beastkin has been domesticated for seemingly hundreds, if not thousands, of years. Their soft white fleece is highly prized by weavers, while their strong legs and sure-footedness make them capable beasts of burden. Wyver, this ferocious scalekin is native to the dense jungles of Tural. The Mammal Jaw have succeeded in taming them and utilized their prodigious strength for manual labor. I believe in the Dawn Trail trailer, they were using wyverns to bring in the hunt that Estinian helped them with. Given their immense size and powers, it should come as no surprise that the wyver is also employed as a siege beast. Enemy fortifications cannot last, uh, cannot long withstand this horned brute's rampage. Valagarmanda? Tarali folklore holds th that this bird-like creature is the mightiest of beasts and the very embodiment of nature's power. Whether it exists beyond myth, however, is uncertain. Oh. Eorzean cuisine, a history. It is impossible to adequately discuss Eorzean cuisine without speaking of that land from which many of our modern day staples hail, the far western continent of Tyrol. Ogre pumpkins, ruby tomatoes, even the ubiquitous popoto. These crops and more that regularly grace Eorzean dining tables trace their origins to the New World as the place is known to most. The tale of this culinary immigration begins in the year 1498 of the sixth astral era when a Laminzan sailor named Ketanram successfully traversed the Indigo Deep to arrive at the theretofore unknown continent. Ketanram spent several moons exploring inland, in the course of which he encountered the denizens of the sprawling nation of the Mamul Jaw. He was even granted an audience with their supreme leader, whose confidence he won along uh, with permission to roam freely. Ketanram would return to Tural several times, but during his first expedition, he charted the land and gathered a myriad root vegetables and seeds to bring back to Limza Lominzo. The most notable of these uh, was the Popoto, whose ease of cultivation and nutritional value uh, saw it quickly spread to all corners of Eorzea. Produce was far from the only bounty of Ketanram's expeditions to Tural. Many tantalizing recipes such as the bean-filled burrito and gripping legends such as that of the Golden City reached our shores by way of his ship. To those outside of Ketanram's circle, Tural largely remains shrouded in mystery, yet its influence on our cuisine <clears throat> cannot be overstated. Many scholars, myself included, would relish the chance to immerse themselves in the culinary culture of that faraway continent. Like the taco that Grahatia was eating. Ooh. Having perused a wide selection of books relating to Tural, you are somewhat better informed about your potential destination. Grahatia will be eager to know what you've discovered. Scoured the library to your satisfaction, have you? Excellent. While there are a few books wholly dedicated to the subject of Tural, I dare say you found tidbits of useful information scattered here and there. But come, let's continue this outside. The mammoths do not take kindly to chatter. Now then, I'm quite keen to hear your honest impressions. I couldn't help but notice that we read the very same book on cuisine. I was pleasantly surprised to find references to Tural within. That's why he's eating it in the trailer, because <laughs> he read the book. He's like, ooh, bean-filled burrito? Gimme. Among them, did anything in particular pique your interest? The Blue Mage lore was actually really cool. But, uh, Popotos, yes. As have I. Despite having just enjoyed a hearty meal, I found myself craving Popotos. As they keep well, uh, they were a boon to sailors, and it was the same property that allowed them to survive the voyage to Eorzea. The book also mentioned a method of preservation, uh, which sees Popotos repeatedly frozen and dried. The resultant product was apparently used in a stew by people in mountainous regions. I should like to sample dish, uh, that dish one day. That and all other cuisines on the vast continent. Well, I got good news for you, buddy. I saw the future. You're going to have a sick-ass taco. But moving on, did you perchance learn aught about the fauna of Tyrol? Given your adventuring background, I expect the topic would interest you. The Valagamanda seemed interesting. Now, why do I get the impression you're imagining pitting your skills against the fell beast? Unfortunately, I found scant details on your would-be prey. One source simply described them as enormous winged creature with scales hard as steel that rule the skies. I should like to see it with my own eyes, presuming it even exists. I thought I heard familiar voices. Oh, what's up, Alize? They both here. Fancy running into the two of you here. Well, well. Have some research of your own, do you? Aye. We hope to arm ourselves with knowledge that may benefit the Garlean people. Having forged a new trade agreement with Radzahan, 
They will next look to foster relations with other nations. This includes former imperial, former imperial provinces. In view of this, we hope to find hints in history on how neighbors of differing races and ideologies might engage with one another. And what of the two of you? What endeavors bring you here this day? Blah, 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 blah. Frothgar. Blah, 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 blah. Tyrol. Blah, 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 blah. Tyriolo. Blah, blah, blah. Right to succession. Blah, blah, blah. Evil guy. Blah, blah, blah. Wokalamot wants to win. A nation composed of disparate peoples of Tyrol. I dare say this is precisely the kind of example we seek. We'd do well to read up on Tuliola ourselves. Contest. Is Nuccio the only one allowed to help Wuklamat? There was no mention of such restrictions, as I recall. On the contrary, Wuklamat gave us the impression that she should, uh, she could have several champions. I think I know how to make the most of our respite. Follow me, Elfino. We have plenty to do. Man, you weren't even invited. Come on. <sighs> it would seem our plans have changed, if you'll excuse me. They never could rest on their laurels. Come, let us return to the annex. She said, more champions? Bet. Here I come. Back we go to the annex. Oh, it's just, despite all that we've learned, I can't help but feel we've yet to hear the whole story. <laughs> Me too, brother. Me too. What about you, my friend? Are you inclined to accept or refuse what Clamat's request? Hmm. What would Anuccio say here? She'd probably say I'm never to say no to a new adventure. I'm not doing fuck all else right now. Ha. <coughs> I thought you might say that. With an intrepid attitude such as yours, I believe all shall be well. Be it the contest or something else, there will be many trials for you to overcome at your destination. But in the course of seeing new lands and meeting new people, you'll surely find a way forward. That's what adventurers do, is it not? Such a journey would be the envy of many a scholar. Distant as it is, Tural remains largely unknown to us, with only meager records to be found in Numenon. The experiences to be had, all the things you might hear, feel, and think. He said it. It's enough to stir me to the core. Life is a series of journeys, my friend, and there's no telling what awaits us on the long road. But what's important is to be true to yourself as you walk it. Only then can we hope to be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. Ah, but there's an idea. I have a matter to attend to at the Agora. Please go on inside. I will join you shortly. <gasps> my boy he was listening i love thankred so much i would say I, I hope he comes with us but i already know he does <laughs> welcome back anuccio if you're looking for wook lamont she is currently with the others in her chambers if you like i can go and fetch them for you yeah understood please wait in the main hall You have the look of someone who's made up their mind. Go on then. Let's hear it. I'm in. I've never been one to turn down an adventure. I'll do it. Dawn Trail confirmed. <laughs> Excellent. You'll be compensated for your troubles, of course. But I dare say your time in Turov be its own reward. You're not planning to leave without us, are you? Oh my god. I guess I need my crew. Alpha no, Alize. <coughs> what are you two doing here? We happened to cross paths at Numenon earlier, you see, and I told them about Wuklamat. And when we fortuitously met again at the Agora just now, they expressed an interest in meeting our visitor. Ah, you must be the twins who are sneaking after Erinville's toads. <laughs> yeah. A hundred things about us you could have told her. And you chose that. <laughs> First impressions last. Drew. Tis an honor and a pleasure to make your acquaintance, your highness. Oh, this fucking dork. Alphino at your service. And this is my sister, Alize. Nerd emoji. Oh, 
Oh no, let's not do that. I really can't stand titles. So, you want to participate in the contest too, is that right? Indeed we do. We've been assisting with the rebuilding effort in Garlemald. Yet while progress is being made, the question remains of how the nation might reconcile with its neighbors. We believe there is much we might learn from Tuliolo, a nation founded on unity. And in return for this honor, we would spare no effort in supporting your claim. The more the merrier, I say. And I'd be keen to learn about Eorzea and Garlemald from you as well. Having recruited so many committed and capable allies, I presume you have no need for my continued assistance? <laughs> She's gonna be like, nope, you're Nonsense. coming. Like I told you before, you're indispensable. <laughs> oh man. You're strong, I but strangers to our land. They need someone to guide them, to point out the dangers and spare them grisly deaths. Awesome. I can't think more Aaronville, yippee! To that task than you. What's more, despite your assertions, I know you haven't given up on this city of gold. You see, he's even got gold in his eyes. He's got to find it. Oh, stop pouting, Kryle. You can come too. <clears throat> As I recall, Kryle, you were the first to state your desire to visit Tural. Perhaps I was. Still, I can't help but worry about being away just when our order is beginning to find its feet again. You have nothing to worry about. I haven't forgotten how you held the fort while I set off to explore Alzadal's legacy. It's only fair that I return the favor. Pray, leave the students to Ojika and me. But, Ra. That's a fucking lie. He was there <laughs> in the trailer. You want to retrace your grandfather's steps, don't you? This is a rare opportunity, and I insist that you seize it. I give it about a minute and 30 seconds till Estinian kicks you. down that door and is like, where are we going? Like he just woke up from a nap well, or some shit. Looks like it's I'm counting on you all to help me win the throne. Here it comes. I suppose now is a good time to show you what I spent a small fortune on at the Agora. Map? There. This, my friends, is the latest map of the world, created to celebrate our friendship with the Loperitz. Cast your eyes west of Charlian, for there it lies. The site of your next great adventure, Tural. Awesome! <laughs> Lowest resolution map ever. <laughs> oh! Endwalker credits. That is technically the end of Endwalker. No meanwhile? Yikes, worst expansion. That'll be after. That'll be after. Ooh, that's good Graha art. Wow. That's great Ishtola art. I don't think I've seen these drawings yet. These might be in the new Eorzea encyclopedia. Oh! Oh, he looks so good. Mmm. Oh, Dacred looks good too. This fruitcake, man. I can't. <laughs> Tataru! Tataru's got the motion right now. She posted a money spread with her outfit. Oh, <gasps> pretty! Wow! Get us? <laughs> hey, man, hit this shit. <laughs> it's the biggest blunt ever. <laughs> Estinian would be the first to green out at a party. Now that Endwalker is done done content wise, I thought it was really good. I have a really hard time picking my top three between Shadowbringers, Endwalker, and Heaven's Ward. I think content wise, my favorite is Shadowbringers, and then Endwalker, and then Heaven's Ward, and then Stormblood. Well, for content, actually Stormblood before Heaven's Ward. And then, but like story wise, I think Heaven's Ward is still my favorite. And then Endwalker and then Shadowbringers. And all three of those are so close. Endwalker was fucking awesome though. Peak moment in Endwalker for me was when the lyrics kicked in during the final trial. You know the moment. That shit was tight. I fucking love her. Woke Lamotte is awesome.
VA did a great job with her, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe uh, she's the first trans voice actress for Final Fantasy XIV. And she's Puerto Rican, which is fucking awesome. Unless you wonder about your passage to Tural, Aaronville will arrange a ship through his guild. You need only worry about your own preparations. Speaking of which, please take this with you. A rugged and ready knapsack may it serve you well on your coming adventures. Now, I'm not sure when departure will be, but rest assured I'll let you know when I hear something. Till then, please take your ease. Oh, we get the backpack now. Yay. Meanwhile, in Limsa Lominza. My boy! When does the next ship set sail? May I ask your destination? The north and east. I've already seen. I suppose I'll head west this time. West, you say? I guess we're just gonna meet him there? By coincidence? <laughs> Meanwhile, an old Charlotte. Yo. I see you've made up your mind. I had a feeling you'd be keen. I feel like Thancred should dap up Urianje when he walks up like that. Just like, you know? Why didn't he? But to think that our comrades too are thither bound. Fate doth work in mysterious ways. <gasps> oh! Did they get called to be the champions of someone else? That's what they must Indeed. have meant. It will be a grueling task having to contend with them. Wait, that's cool! It's like a friendly competition, you know? Prospect doth trouble thee, it is not too late to decline the petition. Though thine expression would suggest thou art far from perturbed. Oh, how could I possibly be, knowing what's to come? <laughs> then let us delay no further and secure passage on a vessel. Aye, this will be a mission to remember. <laughs> He's so short. <laughs> Come, my friend. We make for Tarah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I think they're probably going to be uh, the champions of her brother, the Mikote, who works here. We'll see, though. Won't know till it happens. Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of blind frost in Offerd's north. The fabled golden cities of the new world. Awesome. Way anchor now. The tide is high and dawn of new adventure nigh. Row forth to break horizon's bond. And tread the gilded... I didn't get to read that. Gilded path beyond. Cool! To be continued. <laughs>